All right, so today we're going to apply some of our Panikink Custom Shop Border Slide Headstock decals. Now, if you've ordered your decals from us, um, our most popular size is the quarter sheet, which comes to you like this. Um, depending on how many logos you have on here, it could be more or less, but these are just some I made up for this tutorial. Um, as I said, they'll come to you on a solid card like this of decals. This is decal paper. Um, what you're going to want to do is cut your decal out so that you can place it with as little overlap as possible. Now I've got a little Westcott paper cutter here because uh, I do a lot of this. Uh, but you can use scissors, uh, small scissors. I also suggest using a razor blade uh, because with a razor you can really get right up to the edges of what you want to cut. And to me it's just you know a little faster. A little more precise to use a blade but you want to cut your decal out get it as close as possible but as you can see I'm leaving just a little bit of an area about between an eighth and a sixteenth of an inch before the actual design so that you don't have as much curling of the design um, but we'll cut this out here. Okay, so we have our decal cut out like it's going to actually be on the headstock. Um, here we have just regular water, warm water. Put your decal in. Completely wet and let it sit. Gonna grab our headstock here that we're gonna apply it to. Now, one thing I definitely recommend Microscale Industries uh, makes a product, a couple of products, Microsol and Microset. These are specifically made for applying water slide decals. And what it does is it will actually kind of dissolve the decal a little bit and make it where it looks like it's more painted onto the headstock rather than just stuck on there. Um, either one will work. Um, the Microsol softens it a little more to conform, like if you're going over an odd shape. The Microset actually works well for a decal remover if you're trying to take an old decal off to put a new decal on. This can help soften up the decal and make it remove easier. Um, but what we're gonna do, I'm gonna go with the micro saw. Take a small brush or a Q-tip or whatever you want. And we're gonna actually wet this down to begin with. The area we wanna apply our decal to. Um, by wetting it, it's gonna let the decal slide on a little better and it's gonna give that dissolving layer underneath the decal. Right, so just paint it on there. Um, now we've got our decal that sat for 30 seconds to 45 seconds or so. Now these decals, the way we make our decals, it's a uh, dye sublimation process. It's not ink, it's not paint like some other people that are making decals. Um, you don't apply it in reverse and slide off the actual adhesive side of the decal which is underneath here is what goes to the headstock and it is completely waterproof uh, so you don't have to worry about it running or coming off or anything like that you're going to place it about where you want it, slide it off, slide it into place. 
<clears throat> now, the, when you take the backing paper off, you'll feel one side of it is slick, the adhesive side. I always like to take that down towards the decal and use it to squeeze any of the liquid that's under there out from underneath it and smooth the decal out completely. And once you've got all the liquid and everything out from underneath it, come back with your micro saw or micro set, whichever you use, and coat the top of the decal. Just paint right over the whole thing. Make sure the whole thing has got a good coating. And you kind of want your headstock sitting flat for this so it doesn't roll one, excuse me, one way or another. It just stays where you want it to be. Um, and we're going to let that dry. Uh, it usually takes about 15 minutes or so for that to do its job and activate. And when you come back and, and look, you'll see that it almost looks kind of wrinkly. Uh, that's fine. That means the microsol is doing its job. At that point, Take your brush, lightly dip it again, get some of the excess off of the brush, and smooth everything back out. Run back over the decal and smooth out any wrinkles you've got in it. Then at that point, you can take a paper towel and pat it to kind of pat it dry. Let it sit until it's fully dry and, and you don't see any more wrinkles forming then at that point you can clear over it with whatever you use to clear coat your guitars be it poly finish uh, clear lacquer um, whatever will we'll work over these decals and it won't affect it because with it being dye sublimation this is actually this dye is actually melted into the product with heat so it's it's there. It's waterproof. It's not coming off unless you scratch it off. Um, but when you spray a coat over the top of it, it's going to completely seal it, and scratching won't be an issue. But anyway, that's how you apply the decals. If you need decals for your custom guitar, there's going to be a link down in the description at the bottom of the video. Um, please like and subscribe. Uh, for more of our videos and information, uh, check out our website at panicinkcustom.shop. Check us out on Facebook, Instagram. Uh, you already found us on YouTube, uh, Pinterest, wherever else you can find us and give us some love. We, we sure appreciate the support of, of our viewers. Um, anyway, that's it. Until next time, thanks a lot.